Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia and in this video, I am doing a product review. So I was contacted by this company, ASUB, um, to try out their white water slide paper. So I'm gonna be doing that in this video and show you how I decorate a coffee mug or it's a, it's a stainless steel mug. Um, it's another winter themed, actually it's a hot chocolate mug and I am gonna keep this one because I love hot chocolate and that's what I put on the cup. So if you're interested to see uh, this product review and how this product worked out and the end result of this hot cocoa tumbler, stick around and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I am uh, putting, I am submerging as per the directions, my water slide into um, lukewarm. I'm actually using a little bit warmer than room temperature. I prefer to use warmer uh, water over room temperature. I just feel like it releases better. And um, I used this, I already tried this paper out um, on another project and spraying it with the water and soaking it like I do with the hippo um, didn't release it as well. So I'm going to soak it uh, like it, it says for 30 to 60 minutes. So I've got a um, coffee mug. It, um, it is a stainless steel coffee mug that I ordered from Amazon. Long story I'll explain later. And I've already prepped it by sanding it. I glittered it. I epoxied it. Um, I, I did want to show you that because this really the purpose of this video is more for um, review than tutorial on how to do um, a cup. I will be finishing this because I want to see what you know what this is like under epoxy. I am assuming it's going to be just as good as you know all the other ones, but. Um, that's what, you know, I want to start this review with it, you know, they printed nice, you know, my printer, um, the colors are fine on it. And, um, I feel like this water slide is kind of like on the thicker side, which is nice for durability. And then we're going to just slide this on like we would any other water slide. Actually make sure your surface is a little bit wet. I did spray paint this. Sorry guys. I did spray paint this spot white because this is a white water slide and I wanted it to blend. So I did that spot white so that the, because you had to hand cut this out because I can't do the print and cut on my Cricut because it's water slide paper instead of um, vinyl. And there's Aria saying hi. 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 So it went on beautifully. Hi. And um, I am just going to get a paper towel Hi. and press it out and let it dry before I do my first coat of epoxy under it. Would you get your head out of it? Get your head. Hello. <laughs> Can we see you? Hello. You're so silly. Hello. Hello. Okay. So um, Hi. I'm just going to get this water out from underneath. And um, I'm gonna let it dry. And once it is dry, I am gonna pull back some of the spray paint a little bit though, um, because it went a little bit too wide, but that's okay because you know you can do that with 91% alcohol, it's nice and easy. So I'm gonna be back um, in a little bit, in about an hour when this is dry to move on. All right, so this has been drying for about an hour and I'm gonna take my 91% alcohol on a paper towel and I'm gonna rub off the white spray paint off of the rest of the area that I don't want it. So I just want it to be a little bit around the snowman just to, um, it almost actually gives it kind of like a snow effect. I don't know, I, I just like the way it turned out. It, you know, it was really cute. And once I'm done taking the heavy stuff off, I am gonna come in with a cleaner paper towel and I'm just gonna go around and just make sure that I get off any excess residue. All right, so I'm gonna take a chance and I'm going to apply my decal before I epoxy. Um, I don't advise you to do this, but what I did was I um, de-stickied my, um, my uh, transfer tape by putting it on my clothes so it wasn't like super, super sticky. 
And then I did reverse weed this design or these words because they were kind of skinny. So uh, if you're not familiar with reverse weeding, watch what I'm doing. And this is reverse weeding. So it's putting the entire water um, or the entire decal on the transfer tape and then pulling off the excess and just leaving what you want uh, to put on your know, surface. And if, the, if there's some letters that are too, too small, like are in between like an O, I'll even leave that on, put it on the cup, and then take it off after I um, put it on the cup. So, you know, I just wanted to leave this in for you guys. Um, I don't normally uh, weed my um, vinyl in front of you, but I figured, you know, why not? Let's just, you know, put it all in here or put most of it in here because I totally skipped showing you glittering and epoxying um, the cup in the first place. But uh, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and start applying it to my cup. Now I'm done with that nastiness of weeding and I'm ready to put it on my cup and I'm just going to line it up and press it down gently. I'm not going to press really hard um, because I don't want that transfer tape to catch the spray paint. And, uh, you know, and I don't want it to catch the water slide either. And it did catch a little bit of the water slide and the water slide held up really, really well. So it's on this cup really good. It is not moving. So I'm pretty impressed with that. And here's where I go in and do that reverse weeding on the cup. So there was like a little um, spot in that um, A that, you know, I didn't want to pull and tug on while it was uh, still on the transfer tape. So um, it's easier to get it out when it's actually on the cup. Okay, so after I get that um, decal on or the the words i'm gonna go right in and do my drips and so i'm using uh, fabric paint to do these drips i don't think this is the puffy paint i don't know where i got this you can buy it anywhere walmart craft stores dollar tree has it now and i'm just gonna go around the rim of this i really like using the drip um, method doing this um, doing it this way um, because it kind of stays put uh, the only thing is um dry time and you know what they, they all have dry time so that's not even a thing i don't even know what i'm saying so you're just going to put it around and you're just going to smack the cup down and uh your drips are going to be where they're going to be and it's like really cool so i really really like uh doing this and then if you want more in a spot like say in the back side you can just kind of tap the corner to the back side to get it to go down and um it's still going to make the front but not as much. So that's just kind of my little thing that I do. I don't know if anybody else does it. And then I'm gonna go right in and I'm glittering it. I'm using uh, this uh, brownish, mostly brown with like hues of like gold and orange in, and I forget the name and I'll list it down below as the hot chocolate um, right over that wet drip. So you're gonna see excess around it. Just leave it be 
stick to the cup let it stick to the cup until uh, your fabric paint is completely dry for at least four hours you want to let it dry you can check it after about two but i would let it go for at least a good four but again time you know dry times always vary depending on the temperature in your room so let that dry and then you can brush off the excess this is nice and dry and it's ready for its first coat of epoxy. So I am going to put it on with my finger very gingerly. I Oh, I'm sorry. I did spray seal the glitter. Um, I used Krylon's Triple Thick and um, I sealed that so that it wouldn't travel when I was putting my epoxy on. So I'm just going around and doing a light coat around the handle and uh, around the inside. And so I kind of do this slowly uh, to make sure that I'm not spreading any glitter and to make sure that it's not pulling in places because when you're, when you're putting epoxy up against drips and around handles and stuff, it tends to pull. So I'm just taking my time doing this and um, when it's done, I am going to let this turn um, for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to start placing my little uh, jimmies or sprinkles or whatever you want to call it on, uh, on the top. All right, so now I'm gonna come in with my little um, sprinkle glitters. Uh, they're little peppermints and little like, um, what are they, jimmies or sprinkles, uh, little so um, I'm sorry, Santa heads. They're really, really cute. And I'm just gonna put, you know, a few around the top of the uh, cup. And then I am going to let this cup spin for four to six hours. And then I'm gonna come in with at least, um, it's going to be two more coats of epoxy so one coat and then another coat once i have them all on there i'm going to take my little dotting tool and i'm just going to move them around and make sure they're where i want them and then this cup is going to be done after two coats of epoxy she is done i'm so happy look how cute this is i love snowman if you watched my last video you know i talked about how much i love snowman over like santa claus and you know what I'm gonna be using this all winter long because I love to drink hot chocolate and snuggle in the blanket with my family, watch movies or whatever. And I really want, you know, I wanted a stainless steel mug to keep my hot cocoa warm. So here we go, I have it, it's mine, I'm keeping it. My daughter's probably gonna take it from me. Okay, so let's move on to the product review. So a sub water slide decal paper. Now I've only had the opportunity to use this, um, which is the white. And I was, I, you know, overall, I'm very happy with this product. It, my printer printed nicely on it and the image came up nice and crisp and clear. There was no smearing or anything. Um, I sealed it as I always do. And as per the um, directions, they give you very detailed instructions on the back, which is really nice. Um, and um, I sprayed, sealed it three times with my Rust-Oleum Gloss Clear. And uh, with this water slide though, I felt like it, it's kind of like a haze brand. So if you're familiar with using haze, you know that you have to soak it in your water um, to get the paper to release. Whereas like Koala and uh, Hippo brand, I felt like for some reason they release easier. So I just had, I can just spray it with a spray bottle and after a couple seconds it releases. Um, does it affect the quality of the product? No, it just takes a little longer to release from the paper. So, um, you know, I had no issues. I have no issues. It didn't tear. Um, it didn't smear. In fact, I actually used this on another um, cup that I was doing and there was uh, some overlap that I wanted to try to like take off because I cut it out and I didn't cut it, you know, enough. And I had a really hard time getting it off the cup. So to be honest with you, it sealed really, really well to the cup. So if you're worried about um, getting a good seal with this, do not. It's, it's very, it sealed perfectly. Um, do good because I wasn't able to scrape it off the other one and I had to remove it using acetone. So um, again, overall, I, you know, my impression is I would definitely buy this paper again and um, I will link down below um, where you can uh, get this. I um, It was sent to me, but it's on, you know, available on Amazon. So um, always, you know, and as in all my videos, check the description down below for links to the products. Unfortunately, I do not have a discount for this, but uh, price is comparable to all the other brands, the Hayes, the Hippos, the Koala. So um, give it a try. If you're not happy with your other ones, um, you know, I think that you'll be happy with this. So 
that is it guys for this tutorial and this review. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, if you have not hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Hit the subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Check out my social media, my Facebook pages, and my Instagram. I'm always posting in those. They are also linked down below. And that's it, guys. I will see you all next time. Bye.